We have some changeable weather on the horizon. Yeah, we want to find out more about that now. Here's meteorologist Lydia Knoxon for Wayne tonight. Lydia's got the coat on. I do. You need it on a night like tonight. I can even see my breath out here on the weather deck. So although we did manage to see some sunshine today, of course, it was still a chilly one. Most places struggled to even get to 30 degrees, and our normal high right now is 39. We are going to stay well below that for at least a little bit longer. Satellite and radar tonight showing the loop over the past six hours. Some snow made its way through central New York earlier today and then drop south into Pennsylvania. For the rest of tonight, it is going to be mostly quiet. There could be a few passing flurries, but really shouldn't amount to very much by tomorrow morning. More clouds are also beginning to filter on in right now. We'll be under a partly to mostly cloudy sky. It's currently 24 in Syracuse as well as in Watertown, 20 degrees in Binghamton. And notice across the Northeast, it is chilly out there. 35 in New York City, 34 in Hartford, 27 in Albany. And as you make your way up into Canada, teens in Montreal. Over the next few days, we'll still be in and out of some occasional snow showers and flurries. Some lake effect snow starts to get going tomorrow night and into Saturday. That's likely when we'll see the most accumulation and the most activity, but still not going to amount to very much. Most places only picking up a couple of inches by the end of the weekend. A little bit more possible for the hills to the south of Syracuse. Remaining below average through Sunday. It's not until next week when the milder air does make a return. We are going to see temperatures in the 30s 40s and then potentially close to 60 degrees. So we just have to get through the next several days for the rest of tonight. Partly to mostly cloudy by tomorrow morning will be close to the single digits and some east of the lake might even wake up to the single digits. That means that wind chills will likely be near or even below zero since winds will be roughly 10 to 20 miles per hour tomorrow with gusts even a bit stronger throughout the day. Cloud cover is going to gradually increase. You'll notice how some snow starts to work on in from the northeast and will drop from north to south throughout the day. More snow showers start to get going as we approach sunset south and southeast of the lake, and then we'll continue to see some lake effect snow showers tomorrow night. As we head on into Saturday, there could be some brief breaks at times, but as was typical with lake effect, those bands do tend to linger for uh, an extended period of time until those winds shift, which will finally happen. It seems like by Sunday afternoon tomorrow, a high near 28 this weekend. We're in the 20s both days and notice overnight lows will be in the teens well below our normal overnight low of 21 next week 37 as a high on Monday, partly sunny and then on Tuesday we're approaching 50 degrees getting a little bit warmer. It's Wednesday and Thursday when we could get very close to reaching 60, possibly even above. We'll continue to see how the trend goes on Wednesday. There's a chance for some showers late in the day and another chance for some showers during the day on Thursday.